Right, so uh, I've got this, which is a ferret horn from a trip to Scotland. So it's quite important to me, this it means a lot to me. So I'm gonna turn this, the plan is anyway, to turn this into handles for the cupboards and drawers as I maybe cut off cut off these points and find some workable bits that will that I can use for the handles and then we'll get these on the drawers next to the fridge I don't want them everywhere where my legs are going to be because I think they might catch the idea is to make it look a little bit hunting lodgy outdoors we're going to use oak we're going to use antlers things like that so we're going to get it chopped up and see if we can make some handles with it. Right, so there we go. We've got all chopped all these bits off, and these, whereas we have them as full length, so I'll cut them down a little bit more, they should be the handles. To attach to the drawers, we're going to need a flat surface on this, which you don't have at the moment, so. I'm going to push it through here, create a flat surface, and then this should keep everything straight. So I'm imagining this is the drawer, and so we're not going to lose that angle. So it'll stay, can you see, like that. So you can get your hand in, pull it off. theory if that's your drawer that's now going to sit flush just done some testers here cut some dowel to 55 mil drilled it in here put that in drill twisted it in and that'll hopefully with some glue on go in and then a nut on back test piece worked quite well but then it's just getting them in here so you've got quite a bit of, bit of surface area to work with. So once that's glued, if we just put one in, I was going to put two in, but that area is too thin. So just go for one, which will go into about here, glue this, and that should hold it. It's only for a draw. So just going to flatten that off and then take the burr off so we can get a nut on it and chamfer that edge as well We've got this bit of timber which is roughly, well more or less exactly the same depth as the drawers and the facing so I know where I'm at offer this up where I'm going to get the maximum amount of antler, which is about there, about there, there, and still save enough room to get the bolt on. Measure back from the drill bit and then put a bit of tape on so that I know I can drill up to this tape and I'm not going to go through back end of this and ruin everything. Which I wouldn't put it past me. Right, so we've marked the point where we're going to go in. So I've marked a depth gauge on here with some tape so I know that I can't go past this blue bit and come out the other end. I'm going to put the dowel in here yeah. and then drill that into the hole. Depth gauge on the dowel, just a belt and braces 
so we don't go through other end. to go which is going to be this big one at the top facing that way I've measured it and that's about centre so we'll give it a go no going back I've got a washer on there I've greased it up got some super glue I'm gonna cover this flat surface with the super glue and that'll just help Keep it straight. <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? Nice and solid, and and it looks it's flush there. So it looks like it goes into the drawer, flush there, and then on the back, just got a little bolt. Let's get the others in. And there we are, finished. Looks well. Really pleased with that. And a good use of my antlers. So this one doesn't touch the wood, but it's secure enough, it's not twisting, and it's still a handle, but because for this to touch the wood, I'd have, I'd have had to taken too much of this out, and then that would have been flat to this. So, as it is, I can got, I've got a grip on it, and that looks pretty cool. I think that'll look grand. A bit of a finicky one, but I wanted to make a standalone video for this because uh, my antlers mean a lot to me because they remind me of my different adventures. So it was nice to be able to use them as part of this van build, and I think they look pretty good as part of that cupboard for the handles. Right, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more from the van build. I will be doing more camping and bushcraft and stuff, it's not all just about van builds, but I just want to showcase some of the things that we're doing. It might give you some ideas if you wanted to do a similar sort of thing. And I do recommend the antlers. I think it looks pretty good. Right, thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and bye for now.